Good evening, I'm Laura Yamada. And I'm Paula Akana. A nationwide search to find the state's Department of Education superintendent is over. The Board of Education unanimously voted in interim superintendent Catherine Matayoshi. Can't take for Shane Enright joining us with more. And Shane, why was this decision made? Well, Matayoshi's effort to, to secure Hawaii's win in the race to the top helped secure her new spot as the new superintendent. For about an hour and a half this afternoon, the Board of Education interviewed Catherine Matayoshi for the superintendent position in a closed-door meeting. Shortly after, Matayoshi said she received a call offering her the position. I'm excited. I'm happy um, to have the opportunity to continue the work. Out of 24 applications from across the country, Board Chair Garrett Taguchi says Matayoshi was the only applicant interviewed. This is a typical hiring process, you know, uh, we didn't do anything that was discriminatory. Taguchi says the selection process asked the public for their input on what traits a superintendent should possess. Based on that, uh, that profile, we call it, and um, uh, opening applications back out in July through August, uh, we came up with 24 applicants, and out of the 24 applicants, we uh, interviewed Kathy Matayoshi. Prior to working at the DOE, Matayoshi was a chief of staff at the Board of Water Supply. Save Our Schools member Marguerite Higa met with Matayoshi during the efforts to end school furloughs and says she seemed very competent. But Higa is concerned the process of only interviewing one applicant makes it appear the board already knew who they wanted to hire. It just sort of makes a mockery of the whole selection process. I mean, you have an, any, any type of job, actually, you would expect to see, you know, three to five interviews. I think the board, uh, in my opinion, felt that we, we took this process through completely and that, uh, you know, the fact that she was overwhelmingly supported by everyone is, I guess, testament to that process. Mata Yoshi was offered a four-year term for an annual salary of $150,000. The board did not publicly reveal the names of the other applicants.